here is getting the audio signal from live for this track and down at the bottom sending it back it to one thing live. very importantly which is the bangs you give it anything and it goes uh bang it's kind of like the hodor of max if you're a game of thrones fa fan remember the character hodor all he knows how to do is say hodor but it's kind of the answer for everything um it, it, it's a lot like that so you can give it a whole bunch of information. what if we wanted to build a way to be able to, to decide whether or not we want to hear that dry signal aha right this will be fun okay this is the heart of my arpeggiator right here because i've got my delay stuff for all my midi values my transposition and my delay amount now we're just scaling the volume now scaling the volume is going to be a little trickier when we go into these other taps because we want it to be a percentage of this one all the time. So we're gonna have to do a couple little tricks there, but uh, it's okay, it'll be fun. So, scaling the volume, check. Let's get rid of that one. Send it a message for what kind of filter you want. <clears throat> you can directly control the gain, the cue, cutoff frequency. And you can actually use this cascade tool to string um, a whole bunch <clears throat> of them together. This transport is basically talking to the live transport. Um, We've got it set up. So we've seen, I think we've seen Metro before. Metro is just a metronome. My right? filter moves around. So this is maybe somewhat interesting. The way this gets interesting is if you put like a beat on this and change it to a 16th note and it starts doing that. Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this class. Uh, what you're hearing here is just a, a patch I made at the end of this class. So I actually make the class and then jump back to the beginning and make this intro video. So um, this is a patch where I've got uh, Max for live uh, deciding how to control the panning, the volume and launching clips, even the track names on its own. It's totally uh, just deciding on its own when to do this. Now, by the time we get done with this class, you're going to understand how everything in this patch works. And you're going to be able to do this. Um, this is kind of a silly example of the things you'll be able to do, but this class is, um, I've taught this class in person a bunch of times. Um, it's hard. Uh, it's hard to learn Max in a short setting like this, uh, but I have this this motto that I use for teaching Max all the time, whether it's a short class or a long class. And that, that theory is that um, you can't possibly learn Max in a short amount of time or even a year. You know, it's, it's an ongoing thing. You're always learning new stuff. So what my goal is for this class and the way that I teach it is not teaching you to memorize what objects do, how the language works and all that stuff. The way that I teach it is I want you to understand A, how to think like Max for live and B, uh, how to learn Max. That's what I want you to know, is how to get inside of Max for Live and know what you don't know and know how to find the answer. So I teach this class a lot by, I'm gonna show you how to look stuff up. I'm also gonna show you, you know, a lot about how it works um, and what objects are and all these other things, but in the end, you're not gonna know everything you need to know about Max for Live to be able to launch rocket ships with Max for Live, but um, you will know how to find those answers to anything you need. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how a lot of stuff works. We're gonna make a ton of patches. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six patches that we make in the process of this class that I'll also give you my version of to download and pick apart and use for whatever you want. Um, so a lot of patches, we're gonna be building stuff, uh, we're going to make stuff. We're going to, uh, we're going to learn how to learn Max, Max for live. Um, that's what this is all about. And I am 100% confident that at the end of this, you'll be able to make some really cool effects, uh, some really cool instruments, some really cool MIDI effects, uh, that you can't find elsewhere. That one weird thing that you want to do that no plugin maker has sat down to build. Uh, that's what you can do. That's what you can do with Max for Live. You can do anything you can imagine uh, in Ableton Live once you know how to program Max for Live. And it's not as hard as you think. It's actually, you know, if you've 
looked at other programming languages before, it's one of the easiest ones、um, because it's not really like a language that you have to type lots of stuff. It's little blocks that you hook together. You'll see.、Uh, so let's dive in and let's start learning Max for Live. This is going to change your life. <laughs> 